By the end of this video, you will fully understand Jim Rohn's life philosophy. The following reading will simplify Jim Rohn's concepts of philosophy in a way that will be easily downloaded into your subconscious for use in your everyday life. Jim Rohn was broke at 25 and a millionaire by 31. How does an Idaho farm boy make it to Beverly Hills? This is how. At the age of 25, Jim had no money saved and was responsible for supporting a family. He then met a man named John Earl Schoff, a wealthy businessman who hired him for the following years as he was deciding what to do. He completely changed Jim Ron's life and instilled in him the value of creating a personal philosophy. He then began seeking out the few things that truly mattered and devoted the majority of his time doing those things. During his time with Earl Schoff, he developed simple concepts that he used to apply to his life to develop a successful philosophy. Success has many pieces, but without using the pieces to form a solid concept, the pieces alone are of little use. We can use the following information outlined in this video to better our life. Building a strong personal philosophy starts with number one, the set of the sail. Every one of us is affected by the winds of circumstance. We've all felt the winds of disillusionment, hopelessness, and heartbreak. But why do people wind up in such desperate places? Were we not all on the same sea when we set sail? It is not the circumstances we encounter, but how we set our sails and react to our circumstances that matter. And what we do when the wind decides to shift direction is what makes a significant difference. We must adapt when the winds change. We need to strive to get up and reset the sails so that it will take us in the direction of our own consciously chosen course. More than any difficulties we encounter, the way we think and act has the power to completely destroy our life or build it up into something great. Adversity itself doesn't matter nearly as much as how we handle it. The great challenge of life is to control the process of our own thinking. Number two, learn from success and failures. Reviewing your life's conclusions with objectivity is the finest method to develop a fresh, potent personal philosophy. Inputting fresh, reliable data from your personal experiences is the strongest defense against false information and inaccurate data. Obtain knowledge from your own experiences. If you're doing something incorrectly, consider what you did incorrectly and make changes. You can also look for an unbiased external opinion about who you are and what you're doing. An unbiased opinion from a person you respect can help you get a head start on making decisions by providing you with timely and reliable information. Someone who could see the forest and is not hidden in the trees should be listened to. They may give you a fresh perspective. Be open to criticism. Also remember, you do not have to adopt the thoughts of others as your own philosophy without first reflecting on what works for you and what doesn't. You can also take note of other people's accomplishments and shortcomings. It would be beneficial if those who failed to succeed offered workshops. You might see how individuals make mistakes so you won't act in the same way. Failures and mistakes from the past motivate us to change our behavior today so we don't repeat them. Also learn from those who succeed. Each of us should be on the lookout for persons whose character we can learn from and who we can respect and emulate. It is far preferable to consciously select the people we allow to have an impact on us than let negative influences affect us without our knowledge. Number three, read all you can. People from all walks of life who have experienced some of the most amazing things have taken the time to write about them so that we can learn from them and modify our philosophies. We can adjust our sales in light of other people's experiences thanks to their contributions. Books contain informational gems that can improve our lives, fortunes, relationships, health, and careers. Two of the books that shaped Jim Rohn's philosophy were The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clausen and Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Number four, keep a journal. A journal serves as a repository for all of our life-related observations and learnings. It is our own handwritten record of the people and events that have impacted our life, captured our experiences, thoughts, desires, and conclusions. Writing about our experiences even helps us think more critically about our deeds. Writing usually causes information to flow more slowly, giving us more time to process and reflect on the experience. The rigorous examination of journal writing can help us make philosophical adjustments that are actually life-altering. Jot down what you learn and be a buyer of empty books. It's the small disciplines that lead to great accomplishments. Number five, observe and listen. Pay attention to what is happening during the day. Be in the company of individuals you respect and appreciate. Try to emulate the best traits of the people whose personality and accomplishments arouse interest and inspire you. This is referred to as the ability to choose. Spend no time with the foolish and the superficial. 
One of the main reasons individuals struggle in life is because they focus more on getting through the day than on getting out of it what you need to progress. We must develop the awareness necessary to pay attention to and reflect on what is going on around us. Be on guard. Be alert. The most exceptional chances are frequently concealed among seemingly unimportant occurrences. Take time to listen. You need to learn the art of selective listening because there are so many voices clamoring for our attention. Use caution while deciding how long to listen to a voice if it is not helping you achieve your objectives. Number six, be disciplined. Each day is filled with numerous personal crossroads. These choices outline a route to a desired outcome. We can make informed decisions if we carefully prepare our minds. Making sound decisions requires the development of a sound philosophy. We notice beneficial effects quickly when we eat healthy foods. We almost instantly experience a fresh vigor when we begin exercising. When we start reading, we feel our awareness expanding and our self-confidence rising. Daily application of fresh disciplines will result in remarkable outcomes over extended periods of time. We change our thinking as a result of the magic of new disciplines. Number seven, don't neglect. The main cause of why people don't have what they want is neglect. Neglect becomes a disease in your life if you do not take care of it in the early stages. If you don't spend your money wisely, you probably don't spend your time wisely either. You could be in danger if you don't know what's happening with your health and your money account. Create new routines that transform your life. Don't forget, if we study books, keep notebooks, employ the disciplines, and wage a fresh, determined war against neglect, everything is within our grasp. Create your philosophies. Say, I'm going to transform my life and commit to a new journey. When you do, you won't turn back.